Hello and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door with me Matthew Callis, aka Poogie. So today we will um, head for the creepy steeple at the top of the hill and indeed with our new ability we'll be able to easily get under the uh, thing. As for these um, hyper goombas, what we can do is actually just use a either um, a quick hammer or just a regular spin hammer and that will do some damage. Maybe not as much as a quick hammer. It depends. You might want to get the power plus badge. So yeah, I only have the power plus P badge at the moment in terms of this recording. So yeah, uh, but we do want to kill them as quickly as possible so as not to uh, succumb to their super powered thing. So yeah. So, uh, I guess I'll hammer them. Yeah, because the super hammer is certainly better than the normal jump attack we have at the moment. So, there we go. Okay, only one of them. Okay, so I can stand to take six uh, HP damage, no problem. Would have been more if I hadn't pressed the A button at the right time, but there you go. So now we can go further up the mountain. Uh, hopefully to that... Um, Thing under there so yeah and that is what we will be doing today yes because um, that Goomba is gonna or oh, Paragoomba should I say will die bomb me and will that Spikes Goomba so yeah would you know it um, Lovely's uh, curse is actually affecting us let's see what it is this time apparently we get double the money double the fun so, with that said, um, let's go over here to the offending tree trunk and indeed roll up into a roll and indeed roll under it. Yes, you can see over there is a star piece in just right behind the branches of the tree trunk. So yeah, the upper branches and, and whatnot. So yeah, and here we have what looks like a Christmas tree that's really gone dead. So, is there any way to actually get rid of it? Well, yes there is, but we will need to enlist the help of Madame Flurry here. So, let's do that, and bye-bye Christmas tree. Yeah, sorry! Um, I hope Christmas isn't cancelled even though 2020's been a really crappy year! So, with that said, let's go in into the depths of the forest. And let's see what we have in here. We have, actually, a Crazy Daisy. Yes, and also, with it, an Amazy Daisy. If you are able to defeat an Amazy Daisy, then you are able to do quite a bit of damage. Unfortunately, I do not have um, an item that will be able to damage them that much. So, let's see if I am able to do it with the thing I Needless to say, I don't kill the Amazing Daisy, sadly. It is a shame, but because they do, it does give you quite a bit of star points. So, yeah. So, yeah, and, um, I really should have stopped to put some more items back in Twilight Town, but there you go. And that's all I'm kidding, seriously. The thing about Crazy Daisy is they can put you to sleep. Yes, seriously, they have a lullaby attack which can easily kill you. And the Amazing Daisy has more HP than the Crazy Daisy do. Yes, seriously. I often find myself whistling their little lullaby there as well. So, can we finish off the um, last remaining Crazy Daisy at least? Given that that Amazing Daisy ran away? Yes, we can. But it's only going to give us two star points. Oh well, so be it. So, we'll also get a flower saver badge. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, do I want my happy heart? Well, um, power of region versus um, um, saving some um, uh, BP. Maybe. I don't know, maybe I'll wait until I get a bit more BP from get, uh, from my uh, thing. So what's over here then? Well, we have another one, and that will give us an Earthquake. Yes. Uh, so I might use that later, but not for now. 
So now I'm going to go back over here to this um, uh, block where we can get some more coins. Always nice. And that's that. So now I want to sw switch sideways? Yeah, I guess that would work. So yeah, and then head to the left and get that crazy daisy there. And then what I want to do is go around and um, then... We will get to um, another crazy daisy. Let's see, what does this one have with it? Well, it does have another one. It has a hyper cleft with it. And you know how I feel about clefts. They can only be attacked in one way. And that is um, with quake moves. So, yeah. I do not have enough... Um, I don't even know if I have quake hammer equipped here. So, yeah. Um, but I will need to use either a power smash or something else with this guy, because, yeah, that's not good. You're gonna put me to sleep with that lullaby, aren't you? Well, at least damage me. So, let's see. Earthquake! Yeah, I might as well use it now. It saves me, uh, special points at least. And it's enough to get rid of that stupid cleft. So now I can uh, use Koopsie's Shell Toss right up the remaining Daisy, and back there it goes. That was much better than that fight with the amazing Daisy, I actually let it go away, or get away should I say. Would you do it another badge block, what's this one? A hammer throw, not what I'm very keen on to be honest, but uh, we'll have a look. Let's see, I could use the Super Shroom on Mario. He does need it. Although, having said that, we will be going up to a, um, um, a walk very soon that will heal us, so maybe I am not doing this right, but there you go. So, let's see. We have a giant tree, 100 feet and closing. Or maybe less than that, actually, because we're right in front of it. Uh, let's try using Flurry. Yep, that worked! And we can pull a Kirby and go straight through the tree trunk to the other side. Okay. Fair enough. I won't question it. Weirder things have happened in Paper Mario games. And here we have a giant rock. We can't get past that. So, yeah. And we can't use Flurry to blow it. So, what gives? Can we use... That's not going to work either! Okay, so, um, let's go over here and ground pound. Okay, that's weird. Why can't we move the block? Well, the answer actually is in the distance, if you can tell. You may not be able to, but you will in a moment. Seriously, you will in a moment. So, in order to actually move this, we actually have had to blow what the hole is. And that will reveal this sort of trapdoor, which we can ground pound, and then move the rock in the distance, which will mo also move the rock we are on. Yes, seriously. If we can push it. Well, almost. It's actually the other way around. Or is it? Yeah. There we go. Now we can push it to the right. And that will reveal a hole in the ground. And we can go through said hole to reach seemingly the creepy seaport where seemingly all the trouble is happening. And we have another hyper cleft there. So, yeah. Sorry, I don't want to fight you. Well, anyway, here is the creepy steeple. And seemingly where the bell is tolling that turns all the citizens of Twilight Town into piggies. Yeah? I didn't think you would. It looks more like the scene of a, a Scooby-Doo episode. Because uh, Mario is no, um... In any of the gang, maybe. I don't know. I'm lost. Well, let's save. And then, what we can do is actually head into the, um... Area beneath the thing. Well, there are two ways we can go. Um... The gate is locked, however, so we can't get through there. There is a little hole in the thing, which I didn't really think to go through. Um, but you can actually roll through there, and that's where I'll go in the next episode. Um, however, there is an area below the well that we can explore as well. However, it is very, very tough to explore, and we can't go very far in there. But 
that is where I'm going to go for the rest of this episode, so... Over here we have a shy sprite and also a buzzy beetle. So yes, I'm going to fight that buzzy beetle. Now, the thing about buzzy beetles is that they um, are very, very defensive indeed. Seriously, so... What we want to do is use a power smash on this soul buzzy beetle. And that will be enough to do some damage to it. Some damage. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, sorry, you are not fit for this fight. So I'm going to bring in uh, Koops and have him pump up the... Not, not Yushka! And have him go up the Bloody Beetle, and there we go. Yeah, I've learned my lesson from those stupid Adonis twins! So, what next? Well, we can get a few more um, um, coins and everything there. There's a giant rock that we can't move here. Yeah, seriously, we can't move it at all. So, let's head to the right and see what's in here. A whole load of buzzy beetles! Well, I'm going to only focus on this one with the spiky shell. So, what's this one called? A spiked beetle or something? Let's see. No, a spike top. So, yeah, it's basically a buzzy beetle with a spike on its back. So, firstly, once again, use the um, hammer. Then we can switch to Yoshka and use Koops. Okay, fine. I'm not sure if Koops is normal self will be able to do it, but yeah, that ain't gonna work. Again, his normal attack is good. Um, so yeah, unless you have spike shield, you probably don't want to jump. It's, yeah, I'm out of um, uh, SP there. I don't want to waste the jam and jelly though, so. Yeah, shell sauce ain't gonna do shit here. So, nope. I'm just going to defend with Koops there. And then use, probably use Sweet Treat next turn. Yeah, Sweet Treat. And let's do that. Who's the real... There's some eggs knots in the audience, aren't there? Stupid bastards. Right, anyway. Let's get our thing back. There we go. That will give us a headache! Yay! Because of the stupid poison streams! I do not like them, if you can't tell. Yep, that'll do. And with that, I get hit. Yay. I defend. And then... There's a power smash. And that was enough, and please freeze the enemy. Thank you! So now we can actually do some damage with Koops, which is good. And, oh no, we can't! Okay, this is annoying. Right. So the power smash! Yeah, maybe I should have used your chef. Don't know if that would be enough, but there you go. Anyway, enemy's defeated, and we get a few more. So yeah, so now what I want to do after defeating a good number of them is try and get this thing, this is what I came for, a tornado jump badge. Now you will see here this weird looking door. We can't do much with it at the moment, I say at the moment. We will have to, uh, we will be able to use it later, but yeah, that's all that's down here for now. So on the next episode we will actually go into the creepy steeple proper. So until then, I will see you later. Goodbye!